Greetings, my friends. I've come to say hello. I wanted to. Uh, there is this cold, cold winter coming right now, but uh, but for now it, they call it uh, climate change. But in, in the past they used to call it winter, and they were, we've had winter for the beginning of time. It's always been like this. I used to live in Vermont. I used to live in Idaho. We had really, really cold weather for like six months in a row. Uh, but here in France, it's like it's like five degrees Celsius, and everybody's like, ah, panic. It's cold. Uh, Sorry, it's winter, <laughs> and so. But um, well, I hope you you're staying warm. I wanted to discuss a few ideas. The first one is that I realized that relationships, we, we everything is about relationship. We have a relationship to our body, a relationship to our consciousness, a relationship to others, a relationship to God, relationship to the planet, a relationship to our friend, family, and so on. Um, but all relationships, whether we if we when we come to in contact with someone, the, the, we always pick up the relationship where we left it off, whether we, we left the person one day, one month, one year, ten years, when we meet the person again, we, the energy will settle, settle itself at the point where we left it. And it's a little bit the same with each incarnation. We cannot digress. Every time we, we move into an incarnation, move out of an incarnation, and we choose another one, we, we pick up the program where we left it off because our soul wants to complete that Earth program. Once we complete, we complete. But um, th there, is, uh, there is really no, um, no way around that. So I wanted to say that when we sleep, we do a lot of things that we do not know. Personally, I know I do more work right now when I sleep than when, I, when I'm awake, I'm just because of the, the, the physical limitation of my condition at this point. Yet the, 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 the evolution of our consciousness happens when we are awake because we have a focal point. We have this critical mind, which we do not have up there. Yet uh, it is good to know that our soul is, is very, very active in, in making things happening up there. Huh? I do a lot of traveling and I have a very social, active social life up there. It's, it's really nice to get a dream that, that, that shows you something so wonderful that you experience. It's like you kind of compensate for the, for the delays in manifestation in the physical realm. And so I'm going to pull a few cards to see the... So, so it's, it's like uh, we want to continue to cultivate this connection to our soul and to trust the intuition, to trust the, the guidance and not to doubt it and, and to, be, to be in the flow as much as possible, to have faith in God. Personally, I have faith in God. I have faith in the plan he has for me and I have faith in myself in fulfilling the mission I have been given in, the, in this lifetime. Um, and so, so the, because the, 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 this incarnation that we live in is, is actually just a drop in the ocean of our consciousness. Just when we, as an eternal being, we have thousands of, of lives or whatever, incarnations, and we'll have maybe thousands, maybe on completely different planes. But uh, um, so, so, so it's only an experience that we live that's quite short, as Heraclitus used to say. We, our Earth is like it's a stage. You come in, you watch, and you're gone. And so, so we may as well, we, we want to be as much present as possible because this incarnation is the most important of all because we are here. And so each moment is very, very essential. And if we want to fully understand, fully enjoy fully the present, we need to make all... The past, the, we need to integrate all of our past. To, otherwise, the past will continue to, 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 to trouble us. So, so we want to make peace with our past through, through self-forgiveness, forgiving others, unconditional love, unconditional forgiveness, until the point where all our past is being um, is being integrated. So the, the observer of the day, did I do that already? No. It's co-creation. We, we co-create with every thought, every word, every action. There's a co-creation, and as well as with the higher plane, the invisible planes. The highest wisdom is jump into the sea. And we got to go for it. At some point, there is a leap of faith that is necessary. We need to return to the great ocean, to traverse the great ocean. What we need to understand is not for you, which is uh, everything that's denied right now is denied for a reason, something to learn. is a preparation for something so much better. What we need to do is the treasure island, to continue to focalize on the treasure, on, on the blessings, on the love, on the light, on the, the ascension, on the, the abundance, on the prosperity, of the shared experience of joy. All of that is coming as we, we allow. We, and, and the outcome will be the tribe. Many new people that will come into our life that will be wonderful, wonderful soul connections for us. And so, so, so it is really, the, the, as a tribe, as a soul tribe, we, we've been spread out so we, we didn't know each other. So it was, life is difficult. Everybody suffers. But, but every, I think it was Mark Twain that was saying that every, everybody's going to make you suffer. But you may as well choose the people that you love the most. So you, you're suffering for, for a reason. Eh? So, and so 
there, there is a, there was a, a, someone who was saying that knowledge is about talking and, and wisdom is about being silent. He was a, he was a musician, and Jimi Hendrix that was saying that. In a sense, wisdom, knowledge is about accumulating information. To, 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 it's about adding things. Wisdom is about removing things from, to, to have eventually a mind completely clear, serene, void, at which point there is a new level of wisdom that, uh, that can be unfolded from, from within ourselves. So we were really working on integrating our past in order to find the, the, the true freedom in the present huh? and, uh, and continue to cultivate your sense of your astral plane when you dream. We're completely in the astral planes, but we want to be more conscious. When you meet someone from heart to heart in the, through the astral uh, emotional uh, energy, uh, the connection is a lot deeper than if it's purely on the intellectual, physical. A lot of people haven't got that yet, so, but, but it's very, very, it's got a lot more meaning because you cannot lie also. Well, there is some demons that are able to lie on the astral planes, of course, with the false light, dark light, and so on. But but um, but as a light worker, when you light being, when you, you it, it's all you, you see the truth on the astral plane. Eh? There is no lie there. It's like there is no deception. There is no mental. It's uh, it, it's just the energy exchange and flow, and 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 there is a lot. Um, but we do have the ability to conduct the flow of energy when we're conscious of that. And so I just wanted to wish you a wonderful day. There's a great, great deal of energy, a great deal of change that is coming. We want to prepare for, for what we've been asking for. I'm going to finish with a song. I thank you very much for liking, for sharing, for commenting, and for subscribing, and for your donations. If you want a private session, you can send me an email. I'm going to finish with a song that talks about winter. And uh, personally, I'm, my project, my, my life is hopefully very... I'm going to be able to, to, to set up this operation from Paris, but I will be sent to America really quickly. And L.A. is going to be one of my, one of my first destinations. I have friends, I have family I want to see there. And so it's going to, this song is, is called, it talks about it's called California Dreams. Dreaming. It goes like this. All the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown. And the sky is gray, and the sky is gray. I've been for the walk, been for the walk on a winter's day, on a winter's day. I'll be safe and warm, be safe and warm if I was in LA, if I was in LA. California dreaming, California dreaming on such a winter's day. I stepped into a church, I passed along the way. Whoa, I got down on my knees, got down on my knees, and I pretend to pray, I pretend to pray. You know the preacher likes the cold, preacher likes the cold. He knows you gonna stay, knows you gonna stay. California dreaming, California dreaming, on such a winter's day. All the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown, and the sky is gray, and the sky is gray. If I didn't tell her, if I didn't tell, I could live today, I could live today. California dreaming, California dream, on such a winter's day. Well, it's a song of the Mamas and Papas, a very old song from the 60s. For me, LA has always been a really good city. A really, 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 city has always been good and generous with me. I always had a, had a wonderful time and experience, although I was young, but, but it will be very different this time. But I'm really eager and looking forward to returning to LA as well as Santa Fe, Miami, New York, many places that are calling on, as well as Japan, very strongly as well. So the 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 um, London as well. The the observer of the day is courage and to have the courage to to to, to go for it. The, the courage is, is to be able to do things when you don't have the strength to do it. You'd go for it anyway and you you overcoming obstacle this way. The highest wisdom is to the consciousness is clarity of mind is the Excalibur. It's about elevating ourselves into this this state of consciousness full consciousness what we need to understand is fulfillment is happiness it is here it's called laziness but it's the fulfillment of our dreams 
what we need to do is traveling. I was talking about that. I think that's in, that's in the works, that's in the plans, and that's in the project. So traveling both in... in in the, in the spirit realms as well as in the physical plane and the outcome is projection for now we still have a we do not want to project too much otherwise we get, may get into disappointment but but it's good to have to, to be able to to, to project some as the, to project and see how it reflects and then from there it, we'll see what we want to manifest and solidify at which points we find the source we find the empowerment it is like putting our hand on the light it is empowerment from the source this great light this great fire the fire the soul so we want to ignite the great central sun within ourselves this bright sun within the heart and so slowly but surely we, we are being guided and led to this empowerment well thank you very much i wish you a wonderful day and i'll talk to you later Salut.